What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to do the Wanted Bounty Eye in the Dark. This is the adventure on Mars and the bounty is available from Spider. It is the 540 bounty so it does cost you 5 ghost fragments. So, number one, make sure you go to Spider at the Tangled Shore and pick up this bounty. This will give you powerful gear and it is also a way to get the Lord of Wolves exotic shotgun. If you don't have any ghost fragments you can get them by doing patrols public events, things of that nature. So once you have five of them, go to Spider, buy this, and make your way over to Mars. For me, the adventure is located over in Glacial Drift, but I know it can also be up here in Brady Tech Futurescape. So let me know in the comments which side you guys had your adventure on. So with that said, we got that out of the way, let's jump right in here. Real quick though, before I go into the cave, I do wanna show you the weapons I'm using. I'm using my Titan and I'm using the hammers. I'm also using a different loadout. Normally guys, I go in here with sleeper, things like that, but just in case you don't have those, I'm gonna switch it up just a bit. I'm using the Duke Mark 44. This does have Outlaw Rampage, so great hand cannon if you don't have this roll. It's really, really good. It's a nice substitute for Midnight Coup if you don't have that. I'm using the Loaded Question Fusion Rifle. This is the pinnacle reward from the Vanguard. Really, really fun fusion rifle to use, so if you guys don't have that, definitely make an effort to get this. And last but not least, I'm using the Avalanche Machine Gun. This is the dawning machine gun that everybody can get during the dawning event. So let's jump in. We're using a, a bit of an atypical loadout here for an adventure. But we're going to make our way into this lost sector and see exactly what we're dealing with. So you'll notice right away we get inside and you see the Cabal are battling the Hive. Here's our normal wanted enemy, but because we're fighting the Hive, you know that we're going to be going up against a hive wanted enemy. So you can take all these guys out just for the sake of saving time because I don't want to go over 10 minutes. I'm going to rush past all these guys, so feel free to do that as, as well. So just jump over these guys and make our way past the hive, the hive wizards don't particularly care about these guys at all. We want to make our way to the end where the cache is. So once you get around this corner, you'll see that we are going up against the Eye in the Dark, which is a Hive Shrieker. Now you'll notice that the Shrieker is immune, so we need to figure out how to bring that shield down. So you'll notice now there are a unique enemy here, the Worm Cursed. So once you take out these Cursed Thralls, You'll notice that there is that green blood or gook on the ground. You want to jump inside there and stay inside that for a bit and you'll get the scent of the worm. That's what wakes the shrieker up and then you want to do as much damage as you can. This is a timed activity though and there are a few encounters you have to do. So the shrieker won away for a second and now we have to rinse and repeat. So I'm going to use my super now and take out the ads here because I don't want to have those guys take me down. So now at this point, we're looking again for the cursed enemy. There they are. So we gotta jump inside the green goop, the green blood, and get that scent of the worm again. Once we have that, we gotta look for the shrieker again, and then this is where the avalanche is a great weapon to use here. Obviously not as good as something like Sleeper, not as good as Thunderlord, but if you don't have those, this is a nice substitute. use loaded question too. This is a fun weapon to use guys. If you if you don't have this, it's definitely worth getting because it does have a unique set of perks on it. You'll notice right now I have Reservoir Burst and that makes a explosion here. As long as the weapon is a full clip, then you'll have that perk activated. So right there, you, you see that, that guy exploded, but this guy didn't. So you need to have a full clip for that perk to be active. But a fun weapon to use though. take these guys out and then we got to find the worm cursed again and that will give us that scent of the worm and we should be able to finish him off during this next encounter but I'm not going to rush up there I want to have this guy come over here so I'm not super close to the boss all right he's down and going to get ready for this uh, 
Oh man, just just missed him. That's alright though. Let's take out these guys here. The screen does get a little hard to see. So I'm gonna jump back here. This is kind of a a little bit of a safer spot. Now we have an ogre. Take him down too. So just just want to show if you don't quite have the absolute best weapons, you can still do these. You might want to be a little bit more cautious, but you can still prevail. And this is a nice way of getting some powerful gear. So we got our super back again. There's a cursed guy up there. Let's take him down. Stand inside here and finish this guy off. Alright, there we go. So the Shrieker is down. The Wanda Bounty is complete. Might as well jump up here and grab this chest, just in case. I'm going to grab that for Glimmer and all that good stuff. And last but not least, let's turn the bounty in and see what we get. Hopefully something good. I have gotten Lord of Wolves via this bounty, so best of luck if you are doing this right now. And we got Dust Rock Blues, which is not bad because, number one, I needed a Kinetic. And number two... Ooh, guys, this might be a great roll. We have Slide Shot and Rampage on this. Uh, no full choke, but still, a decent roll nonetheless. I'll probably use this to infuse my Chattering Bone. So, guys, I'm pretty happy with the results here. Let me know in the comments which weapon you guys got. Hopefully it's a good piece, a, a good weapon, an exotic even better. But most importantly, though, thanks for watching, and hopefully this was helpful. Talk to you guys soon.